ago in a video on Instagram, the actress Lizzie J was heard receiving a call from an unidentified man who informed her that he had a need. He asked if he should post them online and she gave him the go ahead with a resounding yes. Moments later in the same clip, the man could be heard saying that he already sent her a copy of her nudes on Instagram for her to see and also went ahead to add that he would forward it to Gossip Me Media Channel to post so that the world can know. Responding to that threat, the actress fired back by raining courses on him and giving him the go ahead to post it online or give it to whoever he wants to give it to. But according to her, she was sick at the time using a lot of uh, antibiotics and the opiates. And then uh, she explained what was uh, going on with her health to her doctor. And she said that she does not need to see the man physically. They communicate on social media. The man then asked her to send him a video. There was a problem with the private part. She was bleeding. Uh, she had some rashes. She shared the pictures. And then the doctor said uh, she should make a video of this. But then she said that the doctor is also a close friend of hers. So she felt uncomfortable sending him uh, a video, or rather screenshot some parts of that video, and then sent it to him. He also stated that uh, while she was making the video, she didn't know why, but then she used the Snapchat app to make that video. And this was where she said the man, the blackmailer, got hold of that video. He stated that if you see that video clip, you see that she had tampon on in that video clip because she was bleeding and she also had some rashes reaction from uh, the antibiotics that she was using previously before she uh, consulted her doctor who had asked her to stop using those antibiotics and rather uh, give her a new drugs that she would take at that period so according to her that blackmailer got hold of her private recording after hacking her email and his efforts to extort her with the clip was futile so he made the private video public she also noted that she would be officially reporting the case to the rights for authorities for further investigations. And also, Lizzie J posted an update on her page uh, as regards this blackmail. And the post read, For the past few days, I have received calls and messages from someone who claims to have my needs. The calls and comments on my page are aimed at forcing me to a negotiation table to become a victim of blackmail. Note, my doctor has nothing to do with this blackmail, apart from being my doctor. Is also one of the people I trust with my life. This is a doctor I've been using for years and no issue ever since. Kindly watch the entire video before concluding. You can say anything you want to me, but please leave my doctor out of this. He has nothing to do with this blackmail. To all of you that has one or two negative things to say, don't worry. Blackmail will reach everybody. And by the time it reaches you, you go extend that to evidence no good. Day. This is how she narrated it earlier in the short video clip she had shared on Instagram. For the records, the said video is a video I made to my doctor to complain about the reaction I'm having to a particular medication which includes rashes on my body and in my private part. Pow, bleeding and all sorts. I couldn't have a physical examination with my doctor. So I made a video of my body and private part. Then screenshot the part I wanted my doctor to see from the video and sent it to him so that he could prescribe me drugs to use. And I deleted the video immediately. The video which I made over a year now was made via Snapchat because I hardly use it and it felt safer. The man trying to blackmail me hacked into one of my email accounts and used it to gain access into my Snapchat. He took hold of the video and has since shared it since I refused to deal. I'm putting this statement out for the record. I'll be visiting the police bureau to make a formal complaint and give them every details and pictures I was able to find connecting to the blackmailer. Please put me in your prayers as I survived this storm of blackmailer. What I sent to my doctor was a screenshot from the video I made, not the entire video. So my doctor is not in any way connected to this blackmail at all. So ever since Lizzie J came out publicly about this uh, nude video, there have been mixed reactions. For those who may ask, who is Lizzie J? Lizzie J is popularly called Omo Ibadan. She's one of the comedians and actresses. She's also an MC, singer, mother, and content creator. She's known to be the CEO of Omo Ibadan Cousin Center, an online comedy skit show which has attained variety on social media, transcending language and cultural barriers. She has successfully carved a niche for herself in the entertainment industry with her comedy skits, breaking waves in the entertainment industry. Lizzie J began her comedy skit while seeking admission into tertiary institution, though she was denied admission to study microbiology at the Obafemi Awolowo University in Ilefe in Oshun State, but uncertain, with different thoughts running through her mind. Then she decided to put her thoughts into skits. I saw her uploading comedy skits online. 
Prior to that time, due to her carefree and funny nature, she had lots of fans on Facebook who were always looking forward to her updates. She uploaded her first comedy skit, How Girls from Different States Sleep, in May 2017. Then she rose to start on with her attention skit video. She was ill when she recorded that skit and uploaded it on Facebook. While at the hospital, the video went viral on social media platforms. She gained popularity and recognition. She launched the Omoibado Cousin Center concept, a series which centers around a dumb head teacher teaching ignorant students just because she believes teaching is the only means of livelihood. The ignorance but self-determined parents who go to any length to ensure their words are educated. But then that dumb teacher takes advantage of their naivety to scam the entire community, creating the impression that uh, she is a teacher. But then unknowing to the parents, the so-called dumb Ibadan is just a dumb head. Lizzie, who likes speaking Ibadan accent, initially delved into comedy for fun, but then later on she realized that it was worthwhile and she was invited to host events, shows, run advertisements for brands. And then she made her acting debut in 2019. She has since featured in a number of uh, movies such as Blood of Enogi, Breaded Life, Mimi, P.A. from Hell, The Cokers, The Driver, Last Card, and so many others. As a singer, she released some hit songs uh, such as uh, Giddy Gone featuring Demi V and Ife Love. Over the years, apart from the income from the comedy skits and the acting gig, she also has lots of multi-train endorsement deals. Uh, in 2019, May, she became a brand ambassador for Media Group. The endorsement came about as a result of her hilarious act, which aligns with the objective of the brand to make life pleasant for families through technological innovation. Uh, she's one of the top comedians in the country, by the way. And at this period that an actress sex tape got leaked as are beginning to question if people are doing this just uh, for the purpose of going viral and then this issue of lizzie's leaked nude video was leaked online such an unfortunate thing what well, the actress and comedian is asking for prayers during this difficult time as nigerians continue to react to this blackmail and the leaked nude video please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content